Hey, what is up? Now I'm not here, just chilling. <laughs> Remember that? Happy Sunday. Is it Sunday? It is Sunday. This is going to be the world's biggest plus size curvy, however you like to word it, clothing try on haul I've ever done and quite possibly of all time. Maybe, depending on if I run out of energy or not, which tends to happen. I'm at the studio just because it's easier to do it here without birds and dogs. I got my nice big like mirror here. I just like to get away when I'm doing work. First things first, I did not buy all of these things at once. I have made multiple purchases probably since like late October, early November, some in December, and I've been accumulating everything to make this video. Second of all, it's a lot, but just remember this is part of my job. I know there's a big conversation going on right now about like consumerism. I don't want you guys to feel any pressure. I just want you to know the quality, the feel, the shape. If you you know, look like me, it can be hard. <laughs> I can't believe I almost attempted to try on a bunch of clothes without coffee. <laughs> How comical. By the way, this matte black tumbler I got from Amazon is so bussin' and I will link it down below for you guys. And when I say I will link it down below, I mean my sister will link it down below. She's the link maker. First things first, we have this dress. It is called the Call My Name Ruched mini dress. Ignore my fuzzy boots from Amazon. Seriously, ignore them because they fell apart immediately and they talk to people. This is why I love Fashion Nova so much. I know it's not everybody's favorite brand, but it is so impossible for me personally to find plus size clothing that is fitted and is not a potato sack. I've been saying this for years. I don't like things that are baggy and bulky and add mass to my body and shockingly enough, I'm not ashamed of my body. And I like things to be a little bit fitted and Fashion Nova always kills it. I love this more modest neckline. It can actually go a little bit longer. Knee length if you want. Kind of takes away some of the ruching and is more smooth, but. And let me show you the back. We have a really pretty, what do you even call that? Low back, I guess you could say. This is a yes for me. Also, I'm gonna link below my favorite leggings for curvy people and my favorite tights that matters. I would show you, but they're see-through and you know, it's not that kind of video. We have here a Power Hour plaid mini dress. Obsessed is an understatement. Hold on, let me cover up my cleave a little bit here. I mean, come on. Is this not the curviest, clueless, share 90s cutest thing you've ever seen? The back is also cute, doesn't have much interest. Really cute length to wear with leggings and it feels insanely good quality. It's very soft, very comfortable. Sorry guys, I'm still trying to catch my breath all the time after having COVID pneumonia. Some detailing, God, this is why I need someone else here helping me. Are these actual pockets? They're actual pockets. Next up, we have the date night ready sweater midi dress. Not mini, midi. It's like a below the knee-ish length. Stinking beautiful. Love the detail, love the high neckline. And I am so impressed with the quality. I really am. It feels like something I would get at a department store. You can kind of see skin coming through there. Um, well, <laughs> something to think about. This is for all you beige Beckys out there. We have the moments after sweater midi dress. Again, we have this beautiful high neckline that is super flattering. You know, if you like aren't obsessed with your neck, <laughs> I'm not. Turtlenecks are so great for that. It's fitted, but it's not skin tight. I like this little cut out here. It adds a little interest. Only thing weird about this one to me is the sleeve length. It's kind of odd. When I pull it all the way down, I feel like the sleeve is very short. So I'll probably end up wearing this as like a three quarter length sleeve, but then it's almost like there's too much material. It's a little odd, but it's not enough to bother and me. And the back is just beige Becky. That kind of works. Oh my gosh, I am so cute. Look at this, I'm obsessed. Look at the sleeves. <gasps> I feel so trendy in 70s, especially with my hair that's starting to look like I'm from the 70s. Look at this, this is, what is this called? It's called the Hello Cutie Sweater Mini Dress in the shade Camel, and I cannot think of a better name because hello, cuties here. Just kidding, kind of. It's stretchy, it's incredibly soft. The quality feels amazing. It is so cute and trendy with the sleeves. Love the neckline, love the length, love everything about it. Let's check out the back. Sorry, I'm not trying to like constantly show you guys my bum. The back's beige Becky, but. Mm. This is my favorite one so far. <laughs> Here's the bathroom. Can you see it better when I'm not holding a camera? 
Okay, so I think I have my first no of the bunch that will probably end up on my Poshmark. It has similar sleeves to the last one. I sort of feel like a linebacker. I think it's too much for me personally. The rest of it's great. It's nice and fitted. The quality feels good. I just, you know, I don't like the shoulder pad look. This is the Steph sweater midi dress. I don't know, it kind of looks good from back here. <laughs> kind of gives me a different shape because my shoulders slope downward and this kind of lifts them up. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? Do I look like a linebacker or do I look like adorbs? Be honest, please. Also, my little filming area is right here next to what I'm doing and I just want you guys to know that I just took a sip of yesterday's disgusting watered down coffee mistaking it for this, so yay for me. We have here the higher up midi dress. Again, obsessed. This is another reason I love Fashion Nova is because they have all of these basics, these sort of really simple pieces that you can like layer with other stuff, layer jewelry, put something over it. It's nice and thin, which makes it really good for layering. Again, obsessed with the high neckline. It was a little hard to get my watermelon size noggin through this neckline. Just get dressed before you do your makeup. Nothing special about the back. Oh, just love stretchy, fitted, soft things, and I hate how hard they are to find. Here's what she looks like. This is called the Cold Hearted Ribbed Mini Dress in the shade orange. I don't know, okay, now I'm wondering if it's supposed to be like this, but this seems weirdly crooked to me. I fiddled with it a lot before I turned the camera on and I like can't, it seems like anytime I try to straighten it, then my bra shows. Seems weird to me. This also seems like it's really pulling. It's a no for me. Let me know if any of you want this. If you think you can work with it, I'll put it on my Poshmark. I don't like it. Different angle, I don't know. Weird to me. I'm just, I'm unstoppable in this dress. <laughs> Look at this collar again with the curvy clueless vibes. It's probably my favorite vibe right now. This is called the Melina sweater dress. It has this cute collar. I don't know, it's very, it's cluelessy. It's soft, it's comfortable, it's stretchy, it's fitted. I love the sleeve length. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I love that I have this ladder here. Oh, stupid. <laughs> You probably see some recurring colors. I'm real picky about colors. I don't like to wear pastel. I feel kind of frumpy in certain colors, so I always stick to like hunter green, burgundy, rust, mustard, almost like folly colors. Black, obviously, uh, with a few exceptions. So cute. So that concludes the Fashion Nova dresses. Now we're moving on to Fashion Nova bodysuits. However, these jeans are actually fashion to figure. If you've never heard of them, they're a really good quality, amazing, like curvy brand. I think they have straight sizes too. These are the ultra high skinnies. This is a size 18 and I think, I think I need maybe a 16 with them. And the bodysuit is again, Fashion Nova. This is called the cut out and play bodysuit. I don't know, something about this makes me feel like I got saggy boobs. <laughs> like the placement of the cut lowers everything. Or maybe it's the highness of the jeans, is that better? I never know where to wear high-waisted jeans. This is called Melanie Mock Neck Bodysuit. And I just, again, I feel so frumpy. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's these like jeans that are too big. I feel like I got a fupa. I feel like my body looks dumpy. I don't know what happened. I wanna go back to the dresses. Uh, the bodysuit's fine. It's soft, it's comfortable. I don't love I love this neckline actually, the mock neck. I want it to either be like turtleneck length or something else. This is front ball city, man. This, um, <laughs> it's so funny. I don't know. I'm starting to think I don't maybe have like the ideal body type for high waist jeans and bodysuits because while I do like this a little bit better, I still feel very frumpy. I don't know what it is. Maybe because it like cuts off my waist or something, but then if I pull this down, is that where it's supposed to go? I think that's what it is. I feel like I'm losing my length for my torso. I do love the bodysuit. However, I would recommend not wearing a black bra. The jeans, again, are from Fashion to Figure. They almost fit, but they're just ever so slightly a little too loose. I want a little more right here, but these are called the Ultra High Skinny. Same as before, I guess you can just get different colors and styles, I don't remember. It's been a while since I purchased these. See, yeah, the jeans are too big. I need to be in a 16, because as I walk and move around, I'm getting Long crotch, you know. It always wigs me out when someone shows up at my building on a Sunday. Only I 
work Sundays. You know what I mean? <laughs> we got three different brands going on here right now. These boots are Torrid. These are the same jeans as before from Fashion to Figure. And the bodysuit is Fashion Nova. This is called the Check Your Facts bodysuit. It's a hard no. It's so small that I could not even come close to snapping it. <laughs> so, you know. That's what's going on here. But I wanna talk about the boots. Sorry, I can't breathe. So I have really, really thick thighs. Like even thicker than most like plus size people I know. I thought that these boots were not going to fit my thighs, but they're actually extremely, extremely loose and they are adjustable. <laughs> I wish I had help. Sorry guys, this is not the best quality video. The heel is low and super comfortable and I think they're so stinking cute. It makes me look like this. And I also like this little flappy thing. All right, friends, again, we have Fashion Nova. This is called the Scandal Hoodie. And this is interesting. It has that kind of unique length, I would say, where it's not super cropped, but it's not a full length. It hits right where your waist goes in, much like everything from Kim Kardashian's Skims line. And at first I was so put off by that. And now I kind of love it because when the top comes down past my like, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of feel like it accentuates it where when it stops at your waist, you get more of a shape. So it's a interesting length. It's just something to kind of consider maybe if you haven't tried it before. And I like the little cutout here. I like this a little better because sometimes, you know, I don't want to show tons of cleave, but I like the interest of a cutout and I like the placement of this. It's just, it's fun. Okay, we're in the home stretch with Fashion Nova. This is the only Fashion Nova item I got in a smaller size. So usually I'm across the board a size two from Fashion Nova Curve. This is a one. I should have got a two. It's too cropped for me. And the holes, the like, because it's so cropped, this is just straight up bra. Whereas like, if it was slightly longer, I think the holes would be like down here. It's really soft. I like the look. It's called the Rock and Roll Vintage Tee or something. It's a no. All right, last item here from Fashion Nova. I can't remember the name of it, but I will put it on the screen and in the description box. It's just kind of a simple, basic tunic length t-shirt it's very thin it's really soft I do feel a tad frumpy in it I'm not gonna lie but it's not bad it's not as bad as some because it's so thin but it's like fitted and then loose which is great it's better than being loose straight from straight down from the boob this does have a little shape and there's a little cutout here so you know I would wear this with leggings that weren't see-through but I think that cutout helps you have shape it makes it dip in in the back and not just be straight and frumpy if that makes sense I don't know I think this is fine but i also don't like when the collar of a shirt like kind of buckles it gives it a cheap look which i guess technically this top is cheap but <laughs> i don't want to look cheap you know i want it to look high end sorry about that friends that was called the laid back tee and they have tons of colors in this <laughs> i was wrong i found one more <laughs> the letter M. I found one more bodysuit from Fashion Nova called the Madrid, the Madrid high cut sweater bodysuit. And I promise you on my life, I did not order this. I know myself really well. I have a really good memory. I didn't order this. I think they gave me a bonus bodysuit. It's going straight to Poshmark because I just don't think I would like this entire side area showing. But if any of you want it, brand new with tags. The reason I'm saying Poshmark instead of returning this stuff is because it sat in a box since November 18th and I'm past the point of returning the stuff because I got COVID, couldn't function or do anything. And anyway, Fashion Nova is horrible with their return policy. So one of you gets a brand new bodysuit at a discounted price. Or it'll just sit on my Poshmark and collect dust. Moving on to a fashion to figure. This is called the something cardigan sweater dress. It's too much boob, honestly. Man, it was so cute on the model. And I don't know, I'm not obsessed. I don't know what it is. It's cute, I don't know, it's cute. It's very soft, very comfortable. Definitely feels like a cardigan. <laughs> You know what's so funny and like kind of silly? I put my goofy big old Clydesdale boots on and I felt a little better. Maybe I was kind of thrown off by like the leggings with bare feet. What do you guys think about this one? <laughs> This is another fashion of figure dress and I don't know what happened. This was like so cute and it was up here, but it just fell out and I don't remember how it went. Something like that. This is called the OTS plaid dress. It's off the shoulder and I'm sad because it's just too big. It feels comfortable, but when I move, there's too much buckling. I don't know. Is it too big? Maybe not. Maybe if I just like don't do that. 
<laughs> okay, I went back to the Fashion Nova basic midi dress to try with the jacket. I'm not saying the colors go together. I just wanted to like see how the jacket worked and I, I feel like it's just a half size too big. Like I just want a little more shape, you know, like maybe like that. Um, if I zip it, that doesn't look right. Maybe it's because of the turtleneck. I don't know. It's a really cute, really nice quality jacket. I'm just not sure about the shape on me. It's a little bulky. There's a secret pocket. We're moving right along to the next brand which is honey love now i'm gonna talk about honey love for a second first of all these are the only items in this haul that i did not purchase these were gifted to me so thank you so much to honey love second of all i absolutely love honey love shapewear in particular they make this tank top that i've talked about before called the liftwear tank and it's like a shaping tank top and you don't need a bra with it it's amazing your back is so smooth there's no like bra fat it's an amazing brand these leggings I'm a little unsure about. This is a size 2X. They sent me a 1X and a 2X, and I think I would probably be better with the 1X. These are a little loose for like shapewear, I think. The quality is spectacular. The fabric feels amazing. I am obsessed with this deep pocket. But here's the thing. I'm picky about waistbands, and this kind of makes you think it has this wonderful wide waistband, but I feel a tiny little guy here, like, a, like an elastic strip, and I feel a tiny little guy here. Now, thankfully, somehow with these, it's not giving me, like a lot of times when leggings have that, it squeezes here, squeezes here, and then I get like a roll. Somehow this isn't doing that, which is great, but I do prefer an actual thick rectangular strip of solid elastic for a waistband. One of the only places I know that make leggings like that are Athleta. However, this material feels a little better than Athleta's. Athleta, I get like, I tend to uh, rip the fabric easily and I do not feel like this would rip. And I also don't feel like it would get pilly and bally in like the crutch area. <laughs> so I don't know, these might be a win for me. When I bend over, it's just a little too much fabric, but I think the 1X would probably be perfect. Moving right along to Skims. I absolutely love Skims. However, the Cozy Knit collection has been kind of hit or miss for me. It's insanely soft and stretchy and delicious and like the best feeling fabric I've ever felt, but the sizing is a little weird. So technically this is a 2X slash 3X with this set. These are the Cozy Knit leggings and the Cozy Knit crop top. This feels a little more cropped than I expected. The leggings, again, there's a frump to them. <laughs> what is this? This saddle bag right here. It's super stretchy. Oh my gosh, there's pockets. But really quick, before I move on to Torrid, I put my Athleta leggings back on so I can show you. Um, and I kept the crop so you could see the waistband. This is a solid, it's just like the same material as the leggings. It just goes all the way up into this kind of seamless flow into my waist. There's no little band here. There's a stitch here, but it's not, it just, I'm so smooth in these leggings. All right, moving on to Torrid. Gosh, Torrid, I love you so much. This is part of their super soft like series because um, it's super soft. This is the Heather Gray tunic, elbow length sleeves, which are chef's kiss. I actually size down sometimes with Torrid. So this is a size one X. Normally I'm a two in most brands, but sometimes with like long tunics that are slightly less fitted, I size down cause I'm so afraid of that like potato sack look. Cover your butt. I love the V, it's not too deep. Just a perfect shirt, thin, soft, stretchy. Right, we got another tunic top from the Torrid Super Soft series. This is called the Super Soft Elbow Link Turtleneck, I think. Again, with a very flattering double chin hiding <laughs> neckline tunic link that you can wear with leggings again with the elbow length sleeves yes please and again with being fitted but not skin tight and kind of loose but not a potato sack they kill it with the silhouette and the super soft line and obviously like stuff like this is super plain i would maybe put a necklace on and you know i have to say Looking at this, it feels a little bit dated, but sometimes we have to go with what looks better on our bodies and not with the trends. Because everything right now, the trends of like the big baggy 90s, like mom jeans or is it called chambray button down tops that are kind of bulky. Like I don't find trends to always be flattering on plus size figures. So maybe I'm slightly out of style, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't really care, you know? Okay, so that was the last item, and this is <laughs> the aftermath. I got a keep pile, a Poshmark pile, a hopefully return pile, not the bra. 
a hopefully return pile. And I don't know pile, so cool. I'm gonna chat for a minute before I close this out. First of all, if you watch that whole thing, freaking love you man i freaking love you second of all i'm gonna try to answer any and all any and every question that you guys have but before you ask check the description box not because i don't want you to ask just because i don't want you to feel frustrated if i like can't get to your comment fast enough and you're like trying to purchase something you liked or you know what i mean so i'm gonna work really hard on the description box to link everything all my sizing and everything and the last thing i want to say is what are your favorite plus size or like curvy clothing brand. Over the years, I've just learned that I feel the most comfortable for my shape in like mini dresses, midi dresses, or tunic tops with tights or leggings and boots. It like checks all the boxes for me as far as looking cute, being comfortable, feeling put together, but not being miserable, feeling like my shape looks the best. That's kind of my fave. So not only do I want to know what your fave brands are, but what is your fave outfit? What's your fave fit? I love you guys and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! I am amazed at how good I just did with my energy levels. There's something about trying clothes on at home, not at home, but like in the privacy of your own setting where you can control the temperature. You don't have to walk between stores and like go into fitting rooms and talk to workers. That just is so much better. I'm not even hot.